Hello everyone, my name is Julie and today I'm going to be doing the DIY Activated Charcoal Blackhead Face Mask. So I've seen this on YouTube a couple times and I wanted to try it out to see if it would work on me. So this face mask is supposed to remove your blackheads and whiteheads in your face. I am not going to be putting it on my whole face. I'm just focusing it on where I have blackheads, which is like my nose area and this area here. Let's get started. What's here is everything that you're going to need. So I'll go through what I've got. I have some PVA glue that I got from Bunnings Warehouse and it needs to be non-toxic. Then I have my charcoal capsules and I just went to my local chemist and asked if they had any activated charcoal capsules and this was $16.50 and I paid $5.50 for the glue. So you need a container and you need some sort of brush. Some people use makeup brushes and I also have some rose oil and you put that in after you've mixed the mask up and it just takes away the glue scent so you don't have to smell it while it sits on your face. And you also need a cloth. Open up the bottle. So the capsules look like this. Some people use two, some people use three, some people use four. I think I'm going to start with two and see how that turns out. Some people twist to try and get them open because you need to get the powder out of the capsules. Don't want to cut it open because I've seen somebody cut it open and it went everywhere. I did watch one where she used the same capsules as I did and she said that they were quite difficult to open. So I am now realizing that she was right. I've managed to peel one of the edges off and so I'm just slowly peeling off one half of one of the capsules. And I think this will be the only way I'll be able to get them off. I've just peeled it off. That is two capsules. I think I want to put another one. So that is three capsules of the charcoal. Now it's time to add the glue. You don't want to put too much glue because you want the consistency to stay like pasty. You don't want it to be too runny. So I'm going to put that much and see how it turns out. So I don't know if this is going to be enough to cover my face. So I think I'm going to put more glue and maybe another charcoal capsule. See, it's not too runny, so I don't think it'll be too bad. I just use this and I put two drops of the rose oil and mix it up. So it's gotten waterier because of that, but it's not too bad. Most people use it when it's like this. It was only one person that recommended you make it like a paste. Okay, I think it is time to apply. So I have some hot water here, and so you dip the cloth in the hot water. Try not to burn yourself like I'm doing right now. And then you put it on the places that you're going to put the mask. And this opens up your pores so the mask is more effective. Now I'm going to apply it to my face. Oh god, I'm afraid. Okay, try as best as you can to avoid anywhere with hair because it really rips it out. Okay. 
and some say to apply a thick coat where you have the most blackheads so I'm going to apply a thick coat to my nose okay so I'm done applying it to my face now you just need to let it dry some say it takes half an hour some say it takes 45 minutes i am just going to look at the time now which is 3:21, and then i will let you know how long it takes mine to fully dry i tested the glue on my skin before i used it just in case i had like a reaction to it like a rash or something so i did a test on my neck here and on my wrist when I was fine, the redness went away and everything was okay. I thought that the glue was obviously okay to use. I noticed that it's kind of lifted off my nose. It's like dried and it's lifted. Alright, now you need to remember to pull up. Oh, that kind of hurts. I think pulling the skin tight as you pull it off helps. Oh, but it doesn't make it hurt less. Ooh. Oh god, that hurts. Oh, that made my eye water. When you're finished and you've taken the mask off, if you take a damp cloth and just wipe at the, the bits that are still on your face, they'll come off. Overall, it didn't really work that well. I wouldn't say don't try it because it might work really well for you. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to comment any video ideas or other DIYs or things you want me to try. I hope you had a lovely day and I'll see you again next week with another video. Bye!